<laughs> that was cool. No intervention. <laughs> I mean, and I think, look, that as well is an important place to study. There's the huge accomplishments of that government. And then conversely, there's mm -hmm. huge failings. And I think people in general need to get a lot more comfortable with uh, cognitive dissonance yes. and complexity. And that being said, in this specific moment with what's happening now, that's not what the focus on. Right? Like, what to focus on is to stop that intervention. More broadly, we can talk about the failings and the contest and so on and so forth. Do you have anything? Yeah, I would say that they were too... I think there was lots of macroeconomic failings of Venezuela that, in other words, it's not necessarily socialist to institute certain price controls if it's going to fuck up production. Like, I think other Pinkai governments, like Bolivia, like, Bolivia is still the fastest growing economy. Um, Manage the balance a bit, a bit more. Um, I think Venezuela had a lot of self-inflicted wounds, especially under Maduro with corruption and other stuff. But it's been compounded by a very bad opposition, and they don't really want a centrist democracy. Their opposition wants something very radically different. There's a reason why, you know, the country is is. Split in thirds between a third of the people that want both sides to go away, a third that supports opposition, and a third that are hardcore loyalists to the government. So it's not really like a side has a huge democratic mandate, and the government has been saying that their line is they want to negotiate a settlement. The right. other side is they want a complete trend. They want a coup. The they want this, the U.S. government to give them, uh, you know, the financial assets in an entirely illegal, coup-like fashion. Also, I mean, you know. Just to underline the point, I mean, under Obama, I would oppose this 100%. But this is, I mean, Elliot Abrams is the fucking yeah, person on this call. Yeah. This guy's career is death squad, yeah. literally. Uh, Briscoe, do you have something you want to add to it? I know we get very heated about this, well. I mean, you know, the situation in Venezuela. Oh, like, really? The situation is too fucking What the fuck is that? Oh, is it at a crossroads? <laughs> yeah, you gotta be. No, I mean, when you look at a country like Venezuela, you know, there's a lot of questions, and it really matters about what is important to you politically, right? So, like, if you're, like, a straight-up anti-imperialist, and that's the most right. important yeah. position for you, right, there's no question. If you were, like, a communist or socialist who wants more of a socialist, a uh, Soviet-style s system, right, Venezuela has not taken that route, right? What's happened in Venezuela is that there was an experiment with radical democracy, which happened early on under Chavez, which has had major issues with corruption as people who, because you don't have a very strong grassroots organization under Maduro, unfortunately. Right. And that has led to a lot of corruption, right? So we're, we're talking about so, uh, Venezuela as like a socialist nation, right? There's a lot of questions as to what that is going to mean in the end. Now, what we're seeing right now is certainly a right-wing coup that's coming into Venezuela, and it's something that we need to absolutely oppose. That's but we the don't need to go to take away at this moment. Yeah. But we don't need to go to a point where we can't talk seriously about the economic issues that are going on in Venezuela because there were some serious macroeconomic issues. What's happened with the currency has been something that they've allowed themselves, unfortunately, to be exposed to American imperialism, right? Which is an exceptional, uh, you know, is an they exceptional. They were trying to run a revolution at the same time and, and, and allowed I me. Mean, I understand why that triggered the gentleman to my side, but. <laughs> The reality is, is that the U.S. is their largest trading partner. Yeah. So pulling off that dynamic is very difficult. Unfortunately, breaking the, the United States has so much power and has been so against the Venezuelan regime that being able to find a balance for that society on a macro level has been very difficult, and that's why we're in the situation that we're in now. Don't go above 14th Street. Uh, can I? I feel like I'm just going to Will Ferrell at old school. What? I just feel like he went all Will Ferrell at old school. <laughs> 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 I have a whole next segment planned out the next time you come on the show. It might give us a copy strike from fucking YouTube. Yes, you, there's a question right here in the front row. Please go ahead. In light of your recommendation of an AOC, uh, uh, Rashid Khan, uh, I'm happy to recommend we'll call you to the town. Yes, Kitstown for the AOC, Rashid, it's a little Delano, I'm Right here, to my right. Yeah, I'm going to say, who is our third pick for 2022? I have a great one. Sheriff. Sheriff. Yeah, I'm a great one. Third pick. 
behind the standards of war? Um, I think we should tank for a better draft pick. <laughs>
shitty managers yeah. who have been yeah. failing upwards to the yeah. 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 oh. I'll just add, as far as, as, far as your personal choices go, and for real, like, this is the no bullshit time where it's like, thank you guys, for real. Yeah. You do need to, I mean, I've, as I've, you know, I fund people on yeah. Patreon, right? And I don't have time to get some content, but I, it's like, you need to support people who do these things. In all the so the third, the third thing, on a policy level, these platforms need to be made public. Yeah. version of a 21st century, like, a consumer bill of rights for the tech age yeah. that would also have to do with See, Like, well, wait, what is your, your, you lie about your data every, constantly, you are, change your algorithms, there's no oversight, you're destroying people's livelihoods, and there's zero accountability. That needs to be, 